All right, this is our homework practice 1-1. One -one. So we're just following up from our classroom lesson. You can count on to find a sum. Again, a sum is our total number when we add together. Counting on from a greater number is easier. So here we're doing five plus two. So five plus two, we see is seven. So if we start with a smaller number, which is fine, we just have more hops. We've got one, two, three, four, five hops to do. So it's better to start with a larger number, okay? Let's count on to find the sum. So we have three plus four, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and let's start on this one. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. So you can see how that's three hops right there. Okay, let's take a look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four is a total of nine. Now, let's take a look. We're just switching the order of add-ins. One, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, five. Four plus five, do I even need to add this again? Nope, it's exactly the same. All right, seven plus six, so I have seven here. I'm gonna count on seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then let's count how many are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6, I'm going to count 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we just change the order of the add-ins and we get exactly the same answers. Okay? All right, let's take a look at the back page here. Get this ready. All right. Danny collects toy train cars. He has nine red train cars and five black train cars. How many train cars does he have in all? So I know he has nine red and five black. Nine plus five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I want to switch the add ends. So I'm going to switch and have that be five black train cars plus nine red train cars. My sum is going to be exactly the same for a total of 14 train cars. I don't even need to go through and check them again. Okay, let's look at number five. Anna draws three red circles and eight blue circles. How many circles does Anna draw? Well, we're getting our total, so three red circles plus eight blue circles. Three plus eight, I can put up eight fingers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I know that is 11. Now watch, I'm not even gonna use my fingers anymore. I'm gonna switch my add-ins. I'm gonna have eight here. I'm gonna put my three here. My sum is gonna be exactly the same. And I have a total of 11 circles. All right, let's take a look at our higher order thinking. This really gets us thinking. So let's take a look. Draw a picture to solve, then write two addition facts for the story. 15 cows live on a farm. Okay, I'm going to draw 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And again, you can pause the video and draw your circles and then turn it back on when you're ready to go. Okay, let's look at our next part. Some of the cows are brown and some of the cows are white. So we know some. How many? We don't know. Some are brown and some are white. So we need to think of two ways that we can add up to 15. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pretend there's five brown cows. And again, your answers may be different. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. White cows, five plus 10 equals 15. Now I can switch that around. I can say 10 and five also equal 15. So I can, I can just guess, and again, there's lots of different answers that you can put in there. So this is just a sample. Okay, here is our assessment. Again, when we see this symbol, it lets us know that we have questions just like this on our final test. And we're gonna do our equal sign means the same as, okay? So we've gotta have the same things that we're doing. So let's take a look here. We have a triangle, a rectangle, and a circle. Let's look at our bottom equation here. Let's see, we have a rectangle and a rectangle. We have a circle and a circle. So what's missing? We're missing the triangle. 
be. Excellent job, everybody.